Is it perfect? No. Is it cool? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Thank y'all so much for the amazing support on the ARC series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I'm going to try to line up this... Um, I don't know how close I can get here. I'm going to try to line up this raft so that I can have simple, quick access to my fertilizer which Le Pou de Bois is now producing again so it uh, apparently it was a bug you guys I got it fixed up and now we have a bunch of fertilizer to use let's go ahead and make its weight go up again and I'm gonna transfer all this fertilizer on to moi which is very very good I'm very happy that worked out I was kinda worried man is that a lineup job or what I'm getting pretty good at this game, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to set up some farming plots. And I've got a bunch of medium crop plots made up. I think that's going to be the best case scenario for the type I want. I was thinking what I'm going to do is the four that I had before, the vegetable plots. And then I'm also going to have plots for uh, berries. Not all berries. I want mejos, I want stems, I want narks, and I want tinto. Um, because Tinto is going to be for medical brews, so I'm definitely going to want that. Uh, as far as Azul berries and, um, uh, well, the other berries, I don't, I don't really need them. Uh, and also, we're going to need some light out here. Well, we do have a good little bit of light from, uh, from our, our lamp right here. It shouldn't be that bad. Let's go Gamma 3. There we go. Now we should be able to see. So... Uh, now that we're irrigated, we should be fine. I haven't tested this, <laughs> so bear with me, but I'm really sure, I'm pretty sure that this is going to work out just fine. Okay, so let's see how I want to position this. There's going to be four crop, there's going to be four vegetable plots, right? So I should probably just do those like on the left and right. So let's see here. Actually, I can make it stretch across. I can probably do all four. They wouldn't be completely centered, but they might still be able to be put, let's see. They might be able to put get put a little bit closer to one another. Hold on, is that one irrigated? Yes, it is irrigated, perfect. All right, so we've got one, two, let's do, let's actually move this way. Three. <laughs> Hold on, I was a little bit on that rock. Three. And then we can just put one in between and make it look pretty decent. Okay, there's my vegetables ready to go. Now I'm gonna have to kind of walk over these to get to uh <laughs> to get to my uh my fertilizer, but that's okay. Alright. So it it'll save me a little bit of uh well, space and I'll be able to expand it later in the future. Okay, so now I need four for berries, I believe, and we can do that just by putting, let's see, we'll do one, two, and then one, two. All right, now I should have enough for all of them. Now, everything is irrigated, correct? Yeah, everything is irrigated. Boy, that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. So, now that we got that set up, I can start seeding them and fertilizing them. Let's see. So, my back four, we said, are going to be uh, the vegetables. So, let's get those seeded up. And I just took the seeds straight out of my uh, my other ones. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any berry seeds on me. And you see, if you guys wouldn't fuss me about cleaning my inventory so often, I would have berry seeds on me. But, no. You'll have to have a clean inventory. Well, fine. Now I don't have any. I'm going to have to actually go get some. Which isn't that bad. I should. In fact, um, Cutie Patootie probably has some on her. I haven't lined up all the other wraps yet. This is uh, the next day after recording. Right now, if you're watching this video, I am at PAX. <laughs> so, I'm still doing pre-recorded stuff um, for PAX. So, I can't not read your comments. Actually, I'm reading them. I'm probably reading them right now. But, I can't really respond to them um, in the video based on what I'm doing, you know. Alright, we can eat a couple mushrooms. 
So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the PAX videos. I mean, it's it's really, really difficult to tell. But, <laughs> but I'm assuming that you guys are having fun. I am having fun. So getting this uh, getting this base operational um, with, um, with like little dependency on land is pretty good. I did get the chance to read you guys talking to me about Rexes and the fact that they can be on rafts. And that's cool. I really appreciate that. For some reason, I thought Rexes couldn't be on raft. Maybe it's because Slip had said something. Um, but now that I, I recall, I think it's only Gigas and, uh, Gigas, Brontos, and what's that other thing? Quetzals. Yes, Quetzals. So I won't be able to park Quetzals up there. So that's going to be something difficult we're going to have to address later on. Okay, so let's see. I know I need the, well, I might as well just bring all the seeds. Stem berries, medjo berry seeds. Um, where are the tinsel berry seeds? And I need... Narco berry seeds. I only have one narco berry seed, but I think that's all I'm going to have to use. Uh, and while I'm here, there are a couple of turds I could pick up. <laughs> I, know, I know it seems kind of weird, like uh, picking up some turds. Well, hey, people do pooper scooper stuff all the time, and it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of trouble here soon, soon, soon. There we go. That's not that big of a problem now, was it? All right. Who else got a turd for me? Cutie patootie. You, you dropped a deuce for me? Thank you, baby. I needed one. All right. We're going to put these in the... Um, over on the beetle and let him do his thing. Another beetle would probably be pretty good to sustain this, but I'm not too sure if I will have the ability to. I'm going to leave this raft here for now as well and just use the bird to get back and forth. Uh, until we have something a little bit more a little bit more set up now what I'd like to do is sooner or later I'm gonna build some sort of base like a pier here because of the dinos that I won't be able to keep uh, on the water sooner or later and I know I have a level up available I'm still I mean I've been bringing up weight on this guy 600 I was thinking about if I was gonna bring up more speed or not and I decided I'm gonna pretty much stick with weight um, another thing I was thinking about, you guys, and you could tell me what you think. I am getting to the point to where I'm starting to be able to get quite a bit of stuff. I haven't tamed my own Quetzal yet, but I'm not going to be using a Quetzal to do much attacking. It's mainly going to be carrying stuff like metal and stuff for me. And I'm thinking about bringing back Ariadne. Ariadne is, she wasn't strong. Like, she wasn't strong as far as, um, as far as, uh, attack was concerned. Uh, she did have quite a bit of HP, but she was a ridiculously good carrier. So I think it might be cool to bring her back in uh, just to be able to get metal and stuff. We're also going to need to bring our dino platforms back over here because this is getting... Uh, it, get, it gets crowded up here really, really quick. Okay, so berries. Let's take... We'll do narco and stems on one side because that makes sense. And on the other side, we're going to do Tinto and Medjo. There we go. So basically, we'll be able to pretty much sustain all of our animals here. Now, with these, I'm going to have to add fertilizer, which I have been saving up a little bit of fertilizer. I'm so backwards. Like, I'm not even sure where my storage is anymore because my base completely turned around. Uh, okay, let's grab, where is that stuff? I put a bunch of fertilizer in here. I just don't know where I put it. There it is. Okay, I was about to say, where did all my fertilizer go? Okay, and what's crazy is that I'm going to be gone for a few days. So I really don't know if I'm going to be able to collect any of this stuff, but I'm going to try to fill these things up with fertilizer before I leave. I'm really going to try. I really don't have to worry about the berries as much as the, um, as much as these. So I'm going to put two in each of these. There we go. And... Now, how much do I have left? Quite a bit, actually. So I can put two in all of the others as well to get berries and stuff. 
And as long as they don't have to replenish or the chunks aren't loaded, I think I might be able to kind of sustain them for a few days without being here. I'm hoping so. I really need somebody to sit in my house. <laughs> but I don't have that luxury. IRL, somebody's going to be sitting in my house, actually sitting my dog. So, okay. So, there we go. We have two more fertilizer left. And if we're lucky, we might be able to get Le Pou de Bois here to produce a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a, a wide variety of uh, feces for fertilizer production, my boy. All right, and I'll take the oil too because that's probably contributing to its weight. As far as that, we'll probably just need a couple more, a couple more turds to do the job. Uh, I don't need to put oil in there. I need to put oil in here. There we go. And we probably should line these rafts up and see if Le Pudi Bois is going to make anything happen um, with these things. So let's get. I'm guessing we should just bring over that one first. And which side is it going to be on? I Did we say if it was on this side? No. It is going to be... I didn't even make a side for it yet, technically. It needs to be set. I guess it's... I guess here. Because originally we had the other one here, but... Okay, so it's just going to be straight across. Uh, in fact, let's see how easy it is. Is it going to be for me to get it up? Probably just bring the bird. I was going to say I'll, I'll swim it, but that might be dangerous. Might be dangerous. All right. So we got a couple other rafts to bring in, too. And also, I'm still thinking about that hooded. Oh, we got two. Okay. So let's bring this one first. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we got three. My bad. My bad. We got three of them. Um, yeah, this is going to... This is going to be something else to line up once again. It seems like every episode we're lining rafts up. But when they're all in place, it's going to be really, really nice, guys. Brooch. No. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was bad. Hey, I needed that. Uh-uh. I need I need that. Yeah, acting just like treating it like nothing. That's important stuff, man. Important stuff. That's how we're going to survive out here. Feeding troughs uh, are going to be interesting, too. I'm going to need to do some feeding troughs. Actually, you know what, guys? <laughs> I keep taking this to the wrong angle. Let me line this up. Last one going in right now, you guys. <laughs> I... <laughs> it surprises me every time how hard it is to line these things up. It is incredibly hard, but it's it's just to to kind of figure out exactly where the end is is what's difficult. You almost have to intersect with it and then pull out a little bit. I think this is going to be pretty close, I do believe. All right, let's nudge ourselves in. This, by the way, does not have to be perfect. It's just going to be cool if it comes out close. Is it crooked? Yes. Does it work? Yes. <laughs> Wait, how close are we right here? How close are we? Oh, we need to come a little bit more. Uh, and I need to be able to get out. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do it like this. Yeah, that should pop me out. <laughs> Raft tactics. Alright, that should be nice and intersected now. Is it perfect? No. Is it cool? Oh, yeah. That's really cool. So, let's take a look at it. Let's get on Lapatat to take a look at it. Oh, my gosh. Guys, it is big. It is big. It's fully functioning, too. Is it crooked? Uh-huh. 
<laughs> it's definitely crooked. But when we get another uh, another section coming off of it, it's going to look really, really cool. I need to do like a docking section right here. And that's going to be for the ship. Um, like for cargo and stuff. And it's going to look just like those smithies. And on the other side, we're going to have to do some sort of... I don't know what we're going to do for this side. It's going to have to be some sort of passenger dock, I suppose. But I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I want to hook up a gate and stuff so that I can let um, to let people in. But I don't know how it's going to work exactly because gates are, um, well, you can't put behemoth gates down on rafts at all. You can put the, uh, the, the bigger dino gates, though, the stone dino gates, which are probably big enough to tell you the truth. All right, it's time to put a feeding trough down. So I'm wondering if... I might have to make my sharks follow a different raft to get them close enough. Let's see. I don't even think I have the ingram for feeding trough yet. So let's look. Feed. Okay. Oh, we already learned. Okay. So feeding trough. Let's see. To make it, we need eight metal, which is the raw metal, and 120 wood, which we should have that. I don't know if we have enough raw metal without actually getting some you know in the in the stone one that I had maybe or maybe I melted it all already I hope I didn't I really hope I didn't oh no I did let's see maybe it didn't burn at all ah oh perfect that would have sucked <laughs> I really wasn't looking forward to doing that okay We'll probably do two food troughs. Well, yeah, we're going to have to do two food troughs, I think. So, yeah, let's do two. And we'll just need some extra wood here, which we have plenty. I think it's in here. That might be enough for one. But we're going to need more than that. There we go. All right. Food. Uh, tro Feed. There we go. <laughs> Weird. All right, we do have two. So we're going to put berries and meat in both of them, and I think that's the way that we're going to run it for a little while. Uh, because they should be able to eat all of it, I'm thinking. Okay, so one food trough is going to go... Ooh, I'm heavy. One food trough is going to go at the end over there, and another food trough is going to go here, because we're going to have... We're probably going to have some Fiomias on this side. I don't know if we're just going to... I don't know if we need Fiomias. Maybe one Fiomia to feed the... Uh, to, to poop enough to feed the um, the dung beetles? Maybe. I'll see how that goes. These are fertilized and irrigated. Okay, they're working. Uh, so the food trough... Let's go ahead and do it in here because if we do have another dung beetle, it's going to be here with a Fiomia, most likely. Um, could probably just put it at the end here. Let's see. Food trough... There we go. All right, and in here, I don't have anything to put in here except right now some rotten meat, but Le Pou de Bois can eat that. Uh, and I don't have any berries and stuff yet. I might have to fill them up initially. Aha, we're getting a ton of fertilizer now. That's good, man. That's really, really good. But you got to maintain it pretty good because of their weight. Like, you can't just stock them up, you know? So it's better to... Um, it's really better to make sure that you have, um, well, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a lot better to have more than one, I should say. Okay, three, three, and three. And now we have one left. How many did we have in here? We had two each. Yeah, so we're going to have to save a little bit more fertilizer to put those up. But that'll work. Okay, let's put the other food trough down. Wish I could run. And also, we're going to have to fill that with meat. And I'm hoping that the sharks actually get the buff. If not, you know, I could do it a little bit closer. I think I will. It's going to be kind of weird. It's going to be at a kind of strange place here. But I think it's important to, to feed them all. And I might as well. It's just going to be in the middle of everything. Let's just put it on the side wall right here. Uh, no. You do not like that? Use item. Huh. 
All right, let me put it in a quick slot then and try it a few times. Maybe it's because it's shifting or, oh, maybe it's because it's on two rafts. I bet you that's why. I bet you I was putting it on a seam. Yeah, I was. Maybe it was hanging off of the seam or maybe that's where an overlap was. Um, at any rate, uh, we got it done. Okay. Why am I so heavy, too? Oh, probably just because I still got stone and stuff. I do have a little bit of berries on me and a little bit of meat. Pouring the sound of the plane outside, you guys. Uh, let's see. So, I do have some meat, some mejos, some tintos, some azules. That should do for the time being as far as the meat is concerned. So, let's go ahead and put meat on these guys and see. Yep, it's going to get consumed. Good. Um, I don't know how much meat I'm going to need here. And let's put a stack of berries and see if those get consumed. Nope, there's nothing to eat berries on this side yet. I don't... Do I have any herbivores out here? I might not have herbivores out here yet. Let's see. I have a frog. I have the beetle, which eats rotten meat. I have uh, the argents. I have the sharks. No, all of my uh, all of my herbivores are on the shore still. Well, we're gonna have to bring those back. Uh, let's see here, which I can do that. That's not a big problem. Let's see. We'll put. Let's see. Does any raw meat taken? No, probably it probably reaches the sharks either way, which is good. Let's see, you have anything else? Yeah, God, dog, you produce it fast. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just give you another one for good measure. Because you are just, you are just a fertilizing fool. All right. So now we have enough, I think we have almost enough, to put three in each of these. No, we'll need one more, but that shouldn't take it long. Wow, these are so much better than thatch bins, you guys. So, not thatch bins, uh, compost bins. Ridiculous. All right, so we got the compost. That's good. We'll have to bring the mammoth over here. I don't know how we're going to get the mammoth up because we actually walled all of that stuff in. See what I mean? And I'm not moving these rafts again. I would rather tear down walls and move rafts again. Straight up. Still kind of glitchy when you cross over. Let's move. I'll just put the berries on here for now. They can stay. All right. And let's put the stone away. And I guess we can go grab a couple of animals. The easiest way to do this is just going to be to grab a bird, I think, and take the raft back. So let's take La Patat. And we'll grab... Hmm, I'm going to need to do this with a ramp and all kind of stuff. Unless... <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I just said ramp, and the thought occurred to me. I don't need to tear down any walls. Not just to put them in there, but I am going to need a place to get them out. Um, so, yeah. The, I, I just thought about the plan. I was going to get them out one way or the other. but um, One way and not the other. But that wouldn't make any sense because I wouldn't be able to get uh, my dinos off. So... I'm going to need all of them. Right now, I think I'm just going to bring... Let's see. The easiest thing for me to do would be to... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to need to make a loading dock, I think. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to need to make a loading dock for the dinos. So, we'll transport dinos next episode, I think, because I'm... I'm a little short on time today. Or right now, I should say. Uh, let's grab... What? Wait. Oh, no. I see what I'm doing now. I was, pre <laughs> I was pressing the pipe. I was like, why can I not chop? Okay. Can I do a ramp now? I can do a ramp. We'll do... We'll need thatch to make another one. Oh, you know what? Probably better that I just punch it for thatch. There we go. That's enough. The best would have been the pig, but I only needed a few. 
Uh, might as well just search for it. I always miss them when I do that. Okay, two ramps. And they're only wood, so I'm going to have to make some metal ramps to replace them sooner or later. But let's see. And we'll grab... For now, we're just going to grab... Cutie Patootie. I don't even know if Cutie Patootie will be able to... Um, will be able to get up on this raft. Oh, yeah. Actually, she can. This will be the best thing right here. I'm just going to take her in through the water and go up this ramp right here. There we go. And you know, I might as well consolidate it. I'll bring him this trip. It won't hurt me. It won't be that much more time. Oh, <laughs> straight up missed the ramp. Okay, let's get and Dupre. I'll actually load Dupre down before I bring bring her back. Mrs. Dupre needs to get more wood before she comes back. All right, this is probably close enough. I'm all right with that. Okay, there we go. All right, we got everybody. La Patat. You can't fit on the raft, but, um, uh, why can't? Where? There. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so derpy, man. Okay, we're moving out. <laughs> I got scorpion legs on my face. <laughs> what a fiasco. Okay, so we got to get them on the back raft. I'm going to have to walk around here. I'm going to have to get around to the back side, tear down a couple ramps. I mean, tear down a couple walls and put some ramps in. I think that'll be the best, the best bet. Uh, that might serve good for a gate too. Really good for a gate. Uh, but I'm not gonna do a gate this episode. I'll think more about it before I do it. Um, hello, raft. There we go. Man, it takes a little while to load in. Watch. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's pull around to the back. And dump the dinos. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I could probably bring them in, like, to the side. We can probably elongate this... Uh, this thing it would probably be easier than line them up lining them up again I might just be able to load them up like like this but I still it still doesn't uh, hold on I gotta get off of all these dinos I'm still gonna need to put ramps right here at the very least in case something falls in the water and stuff you know that could be catastrophic man all right let's see if we can place the ramps without moving the raft Uh, does not want a place like that. It says it's obstructed. Uh huh. Oh wait, I just had it. It's close. There we go. <laughs> and one more. Aha! Got him. Got him. <laughs> all right. We didn't have to move the raft after all. Okay. Single file, folks. Single file. There we go. <laughs> we got the Dota here. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy getting across over there. No problem. It's to be expected. It's a raft base. It's buggy. <laughs> if I would have wanted stability, I would have just did it on land like normal. Okay, cutie patootie. We saved the best for last. Cutie patootie! Can you even get around that torch, girl? I don't think so. Hold on. <laughs> we might she might fall in the water with this, but as long as there's no sharks or anything. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna have to make our platform much bigger, you guys. <laughs> we already we don't even have enough room for uh 
Full of mammoth. I mean, I do, but... <laughs> but yeah, alright. Oh, no, no, no. Kitty Patootie. You were following the bird, weren't you? Alright, I'll just, when I get off... Alright, you're not following anymore. That's good. And... Yeah, this is definitely going to need to be a gate right here, so I'm not going to close it off uh, yet. And Lapatat is best for last. Well, not best, but best bird for last. Okay. And we don't have a Fiomia yet, but uh, you guys know the deal. Let's see. I do have some berries over here. I can make sure. Oh, you know what? Silly me. <laughs> Cutie Patootie's probably got a ton of berries. No, she doesn't? Poolard? Oh my. No, you guys are hungry, aren't you? I got some narco berries. Y'all want to eat some narco berries? <laughs> Hold on, let's see if I have any on my other Argent. No, I won't have any on my other Argent because it doesn't fight any sabers. Well, I'll have to grab some more berries until we grow. Um... Still no... Yep, everything ate all the berries. Wow, yeah, I'm going to have to get some more berries. But you guys get the picture, and I think that's it. <laughs> like, I moved everything. I'm happy. I just need to fill the food troughs up. But other than that, we're good. So I guess that's going to be it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time is not pointed to the seat so we should have this set up oh and menace's car just to call <laughs>